Hello guys, it's me Donut, and I'm trying to bring you some Planet Side 2 gameplay. I've been having a lot of problems with the recording system, so just bear with me. Okay, I'm driving around with this support kind of a vehicle. I'm not sure what this actually does, but it's a really cool system. You have a two cannons on it. It's pretty effective, but you get if you drive it so stupidly as me, you will get blown up really quickly. So try to drive around with it a little bit more carefully than me, because I'm a really big noob in this game still. But right now I am playing with the medikit, and right here like you can see I'm actually healing some teammates. And right off the bat you can see that this game is pretty different from Battlefield 3. You got that little gun like in TF2, Team Fortress 2, which you actually heal, you got to aim your teammates and heal them with the little pistol, or what you want to call it, I don't know. Um, reviving this game is possible, I'm not sure how do you do it, but it is possible because I've been revived one time already. Oh, one time already, <laughs> yeah. But still, this game has a really good gameplay aspect in it, because it's a, it's a really good team gameplay system, but you can uh, just play with your friends, or some random people, because it has a voice chat option that you can actually use with within your squad. It, it is really cool. I really like that option because in Battlefield 3 it was pretty poor that you had a, a game as, as good as the game and it has a really good team like team gameplay mode and system and really good maps and so on and so on but you don't have the recording system. Like you cannot put uh, talk with your mic and friends and so on and so on. You have to use the chat box which is really frustrating to use. So with this medikit I'm using a rifle, I'm not sure what it is, it looks like a scar but I'm just gonna leave it there, it has those red things on it. It, it, is, it is a really powerful gun, I really like to shoot with the guns in the game, they are pretty powerful if, if you learn to use them. It took me a while to get used to, any, uh, used to the game, the mechanics and so on and so on. It, it, I'm not going to say that it is same as Battlefield 3, but it has a lot of aspects like in Battlefield 3. If you understand the Battlefield 3 gameplay, you will understand this game too. The snipers are the weirdest thing in this game, because I shot a lot of these guys dead on, but I didn't hit them. And it's hard to explain, but I just don't know how to shoot with the sniper rifle in this game. I think the game has like, a, the bullet time with the sniper rifle is much more... Uh, uh, bigger than in Battlefield 3 because uh, you can actually see the bullet clearly flying through the screen alright and right now I'm just I, I don't know how to s pronounce this but or what to say because the game is actually pretty cool and they have a, like an armor system I don't know what the, what is it called in the game but uh, it's li like in the ri right lower screen you can see there's a there's a blue bar and there's a green bar. The green bar is of course your health and the blue bar is your armor system. So when the armor is off you start to lose your health. And in this game you actually have to uh, find health packs or something like that like in Battle, uh, Halo 1. And another cool system that they have in the game is this launch pod. This pod that I'm just landing in the gameplay and in the, area, the field of combat area I think. <laughs> Yeah, because it's really cool that they uh, did something like that in the game. Because you you don't have to like wait a, a day or a week to respawn and just walk around and get to the combat area. You just can actually land in the middle of the combat area and just do a lot of stuff, get a lot of stuff done, and just have have fun and have a good time with it. Uh, I'm s I'm running with the support vehicle again, and it, like you can see, those cannons are pretty pretty useful. They are like the LMGs in the in Battlefield 3 when you're driving around with the tank and you have the little turret on the top. You can you can actually compare that turret with, with the turrets that you have in Battlefield 3. And right now you can see I really suck with the sniper rifle in this game because the, I I don't know where to aim, how to aim. I don't even know does the game have a bullet drop system in it. I just don't know. I didn't have a tutorial in the game. I'm just trying to do my best as I can. Right now, I just got to rank 3. You can actually level up in the game pretty fast. And each time you kill somebody or you get points, I think you get credits or I don't know what what it what they are called, but they're like in-game credits which you can buy with real money, but you don't have to. 
uh, and you can buy new guns with the credits, new guns uh, like grenades, uh, suppl supplies and like gadgets or something like that. I didn't buy anything yet because I don't know what to buy and how to buy. <laughs> Because I'm not pretty, I'm pretty much I'm a noob in the game still, and like I'm saying, with the submachine guns in the game, like you can see, they are pretty effective in close quarter ranges. Like I downed that dude pretty, pretty fastly. I'm, j I'm gonna say in my opinion, like nine to ten bullets, and he was dead, and it was really cool. Like in here, you can see too. I mean, down the sides are really cool with this gun, so. I got I got pretty used used to this gun pretty fastly. Uh, the tank that I'm using right now, I think it is a tank. I'm not actually pretty sure, but I, I oh my god, I managed to pr uh, get a really good shot on that dude. And in this game, you actually have jetpacks on it. Uh, it I think it's a, l a light assault, light assault something, uh, a class that has a jetpack, and it is pretty fun to fly around in those things. I really enjoyed it. And I had a pretty fun time with the light, uh, with the jetpack thingy, and the cannon in the game, the, in the tank actually, what I'm using right now, it's a really cool cannon. It's like in Battlefield 3 that you have the tank, and you actually have to hit the guy to kill him, or shoot really close to him in the ground because the splash doesn't kill people so quickly in the game. And you have a really cool infrared sight on the cannon too, so it gives you that aspect that it's still really, it's a just just a little bit easier to spot the people in the game and in a game I think you have a day and a night like an uh, environment that it actually has a time zone in it when it comes night it actually gets darker and when it comes when the day comes it actually gets a lot brighter like s it, like it's a normal day so what I'm going to say guys is that I really I really do think you should like get this game it's free it's really fun to play and I, I will leave a download link in the description thank you for watching the clip remember to subscribe and like and leave a comment if you have any questions thank you bye bye